Good evening. It's May the 25th and it's Monday, which is our bank holiday. This is a service of evening prayer, or compline, well, night prayer actually. And I am taking it from this prayers for use in the corona outbreak, coronavirus outbreak. I do have spare copies in my house, so if anybody would like a copy, just let me know and I can pop one in the post or I can deliver it. Obviously keeping social distancing as well. If you want to get your Bible and mark the psalm and follow along with me, this evening's psalm is Psalm 27 and that is on page 514 of the Old Testament, so that's Psalm 27. The reading I'm using this evening is actually in this book and it's from Matthew 11 verses 28 to the end. So that's Matthew 11, 28 to the end. So you want to hit the pause button and then come back in a moment and we will start our prayers together. I hope you've managed to mark the right pages. Now you'll see just behind me, I have a small cross here. I try and make sure that whenever I record, there is somewhere in the photograph a cross. So here is my cross this evening. I have been videoing in the garden and it's a lovely day today. Lots of people out in the gardens. However, I'm doing this recording from my study because there's been a drone going overhead and it sounds like a very angry bee as we're sitting there. So I thought not to get distracting noises, I'd sit in the study this evening. The eternal God is your refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. We take a pause and reflect on the day that is past and offer it to God. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. So let's turn to Psalm 27. Shall we read together? The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the household of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evildoers assail me to devour my flesh, my adversaries and foes, they shall stumble and fall. Though an army encamps against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war rise up against me, yet I will be confident. One thing I ask of the Lord, that will I seek after, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For he will hide me in his shelter in the day of trouble. He will conceal me under the cover of his tent. He will set me high on a rock. Now my head is lifted up above my enemies all around me, and I will offer in his tent sacrifices with joys, shouts of joy. I will sing and make melody to the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry aloud. Be gracious to me and answer me. Come, my heart says, seek his face. Your face, Lord, do I seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You who have been my help. Do not cast me off. Do not forsake me, O God of my salvation. If my father or mother forsook me, the Lord will take me up. Teach me your way, O Lord and lead me on a level path because of my enemies. 
Do not give me up to the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen against me, and they are breathing out violence. I believe that I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong, and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. And as we always do at the end of our psalm, we say together, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. We turn to our reading, which is from Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 to the end. Jesus said, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Shall we pray? <coughs> Excuse me. Merciful God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the doctors and nurses, the cleaners, the drivers, the postal workers, all the key workers, the teachers, the teaching assistants, the administration staff all those who are working to keep our United Kingdom going. Thank you for those who have followed the advice and are staying at home. Lord, be with us all at this time. Keep us safe. Let us know that you are walking beside us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful God, we entrust to your unfailing and tender care this night those who are ill or in pain. Knowing that whatever danger threatens, your everlasting arms are there to hold us safe. Comfort and heal them, and restore them to health and strength. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of the night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest upon your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy, May your holy angels dwell with us in peace. And may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Shall we say together the prayer that Jesus taught us, the Lord's Prayer? Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly upon us 
and give us peace. Amen. I hope you have a quiet and safe night and a good day. If you have any worries or concerns and you want to share with somebody, please don't hesitate. Call somebody, call somebody from the ministry team. If you have the parish magazine, you'll find all our numbers in there. You can text, you can WhatsApp, you can FaceTime us. Please be assured that God loves you and we love you too. Take care. Good night. God bless.